So I thought I'd do an update on the machine since uh, I've done quite a few things since the last time I posted a video. Um, one is the, the crosshair laser here that you see. Um, it's set off to the side so that I can see easy I uh, see easier if the material is lined up um, on the table so that I can cut something over there, over there, over there and I can always make sure that the, the material is straight. Um, also the engraver, I upgraded to the Chicago Pneumatic um, Industrial Style Engraver. Uh, the one I had on there was also Chicago Pneumatic but kind of a light duty and uh, it kind of yeah broke over time. Um, I also changed the regulating pressure on here, so obviously the pressure that the down pressure that it has is uh, minimal, I guess you'd say. That's also pretty <laughs> essential to uh, keeping the life of the engraver, um, because if you have too much down pressure, obviously it'll want to just drag across it um, too hard. Um, I put a plate on here uh, that so that the the um, profile actually mounts to the side and not to the back like it was right here it just mounted here at the bottom um, and I have this now is three millimeter metal plate that mounts to the the V locks um, and yeah let's see what else uh, I'm gonna be changing the drive system soon from this Omega type drive system to a geared rack system um, just because I feel like I'm getting a lot of backlash with this um, and I can't really accelerate and decelerate like I'd like to. Um, so that'll be coming, that'll be the next big change. Um, so what else has happened? Well, I also upgraded to a more of an industrial cabinet here. Um, I got this salvage uh, from where I work, so uh, that was free. And then I upgraded some of the... Um, uh, labeling and everything and they correlate with uh, everything in here so I, if something ever happens or anyone else is in here they can come in and look and see exactly where the address to the different components are. Um, also I updated my sch wiring schematic uh, if anybody wants to see that or is interested in building the same type of system um, I have it in PDF form I can give it to you it's not a big deal. Um, let's see Everything, all the components are pretty much all the same. I haven't really changed anything on that. Um, I upgraded the power supply, got a little bit more juice just because I added some accessory lighting um, here on the outside. And uh, that's about it. Um, I up, let's see, I put the torch height control over here by the machine. Um, that's about it for that and yeah so I also put on this uh, <laughs> this light here so that when I turn on the machine I also have a power indicator light as you see there but then the LEDs come on uh, when the machine is on so not necessarily uh, something that you need but it's kind of funny so anyway, that's the updates that I've made so far. Um, I plan on also building a water table that isn't stationary, but one that rather moves. So that I'm going to open up the back side there so that I can roll the ta roll a table out, put the piece of material on in the back, and then roll it into the front. Um, I also put these skirts here. They add a little bit of stabilization but also uh, keep a lot of the dust out as you can see it just collects there in the bottom and until I get the water table that's uh, a constant battle of keeping the dust down so anyway those are the updates upgrades I guess you could say and uh, yeah comment below if you have any questions